The Innovation Challenge is a NAVAIR initiative for young engineers, for NADPs and ESDPs, to have a rotation for six months to explore any idea that they want to that will benefit the Navy. It just looked like a really great opportunity. We weren't actually quite sure what it was in the beginning. Um, it was kind of this innovation challenge. Everyone's like, what is this? Is this a rotation? Are you going to be full time or not? But it just looks like a really cool opportunity to get to develop a project. Then once you hit run, it's going to be plotting in real time. Our project is really focusing on the Navy's commitment to energy efficiency. Right now there's the Green Fleet Initiative, there's the Energy Conservation Initiative. There are all these Navy and military-wide initiatives to save energy, to help us um, do the best that we can to protect the environment, to protect our budgets, and to really benefit the fleet in the most efficient way possible. And we're trying to do that. The greatest challenge has been working with the time constraints that we have, really. We've been able to do it largely because of the facilities and the personnel that have been asked to help us. People have been so great. We've been able to meet people from all over base. NOID stands for No Oil Innovation Demonstration. And what we're trying to um, prove out is basically trying to figure out what type of technologies and what type of um, innovative ways out there that we can basically run something like a gearbox without oil. Instead of replacing the whole gearbox, you can do small components. You can get in it and basically use it uh, more, more accessibility. And basically, you're trying to simplify it. And there's a whole long list of um, benefits once you get rid of the oil. Our project is embedded sensors in additive manufactured parts for structural health monitoring. And the idea was, uh, well, for one thing, we wanted to find a project that would actually be selected at Lakehurst. And one of our biggest strengths is additive manufacturing. So we are three months in, halfway, um, which is really great. <laughs> we have completed all of our preliminary testing and settled on a final prototype design for our acoustic energy harvesting device. This is a proof of concept project, and it's, but it's also really innovative, so it's really hard to balance getting excited about the big ideas. Like We want to do something great, we want to do something important, but we also need to keep in mind that it's six months. I think right now we've done, first half has been a lot of kind of procuring stuff, uh, setting up this lab, um, getting everything ready in the labs at the other building that we've been working in, and kind of procuring everything, and that was kind of a lot of first ass and like uh, baselining the test stands. Our team has become really close through this process. We work together every day, there's just four of us, and so we have done and are planning to do a lot of things that are enjoyable as a team so that we continue to like each other. Frequency changes and increases in corresponds to... We only have six months, so a lot of times we find ourselves trying to rush forward, rush forward, and then we realize, okay, half of our team is thinking something different than the other half. So taking a step back and making sure everyone is on the same page. It gives me a lot of respect for the engineers on this base and on other bases that work to make the Navy systems that we have today. To think about all of the effort and all the work that has gone into a system like the F-35 or an aircraft or any system is just really incredible to see it. As I'm trying to do it on this really, really small scale, it gives me a much greater respect for the um, engineering processes that we have in the Navy and for the systems engineering process, how well it works.